Hey, what up, guys? I'm Lex Coop, and I'm back. Giving you some team deathmatch on this map here that I'm playing on. Uh, now, I'm not quite sure uh, who's watching this, if you watched my previous video or not. But um, I was continuing on from a story where if, uh, I was talking about how I wanted cool sound effects and uh, I wanted the boom headshot. I can't remember. I don't know where it's from. If, if whoever knows where it's from, let me know because uh, I, I want to know where it's from and I want to get it. But anyways, I think it's from a kid just do, playing video games or something. I can't remember where I heard it from. But anyways, my friend had it on his laptop and every time he started up his laptop, it would say that. It would go, boom, headshot. And this is uh, during class. Now, when I say class, I mean college. Um, I'm not in high school or anything like that. I, I went back to school because uh, I was trying to study become a game developer. I wanted to make video games. So I went back and I took uh, one year of computer programming, CPA. I was a computer programming analyst for one year. Um, and uh, now I'm... Uh, uh, gonna try and go through the uh, animation side of it the, the but anyways um, so my he had that on his laptop and mine when I logged in and you turn my laptop on that was just horrible by the way lots of fail um, uh, what was I saying oh, when I turned my laptop on it, uh, I had a clip from a movie. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen it. If you haven't, I'm sorry for you because you missed it on a hilarious movie. But I had a, a little clip. It was uh, I recorded it myself. It was with my own voice. But it was a little saying clip from the movie um, Pineapple Express when he's in when he's in the uh, in the hallway with his girlfriend uh, and the the jock friend comes along and they start talking and and he really doesn't like the jock friend because he's got so many classes and uh, the one guy the jock friend just keeps saying how he'll watch her ass for him when his girlfriend goes to college but anyways the line that makes me laugh every time I watch that scene every time I watch that movie it makes me laugh hysterically is when uh, just before the kid leaves the fucking ginger leaves he goes uh all right, time to suck today's dick, and he gives the guy a high five and then walks away. <laughs> and and um, ah, what the hell's his name? What the hell's the main actor in that movie? Seth Rogen gives like this weird wonky-eyed look. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Anyways, that movie, that scene always makes me laugh out loud. So what I did is I recorded that, and I uh, so every time my laptop would turn on, it would go, "All right, time to suck today's dick." And uh, a lot of the times I would forget how loud it was. And uh, a, a couple of times it would turn on during class when I turn on my computer. And it was at the beginning of class, so it wasn't interrupting the teachers. You know, he wasn't on, doing, in the middle of a speech, so I never got in trouble for it. Uh, but one time it was actually during a test. And this is not like during the tests where there's like, you know, just the classmates, the 20 classmates in the, the little normal sized room. This was like, it was like three or four classes together in one of them huge fucking like auditorium rooms where there was, there was probably close to 100 people in that room. And I was already late. I was 10 minutes late and people had already started the, de the test. Everybody was already so quiet. Nobody was saying nothing. I ran up to beside my friends, grabbed my chair, plugged in my laptop, turned it on and forgot that what my laptop said. I don't know why I forgot. Usually I remembered and didn't care, but that time I thought about it and I was just, it was too late and it already, all right, time to suck today's dick. <laughs> and like, I swear to God, like, if not half, a third of the people through the whole thing, through the whole auditorium that were taking the test were just howling. And they were just laughing, and uh, I kind of like looked at the teachers and shrugged my shoulders and went, "Oops." But uh, I didn't get in trouble. I didn't get kicked out. I was shocked actually. I didn't get kicked out. I thought I was going to, but it was definitely one of my funny moments. I feel bad for letting that guy run in there, but uh, I knew the guy was in there, and I didn't know which side he was on, and I wasn't gonna just run in there. I could have thrown a stun, but even still, if I turned the wrong way, I was gonna die. So I let the guy run in there stupidly. 
Whatever. People who run around non-cautious players, they deserve to die. See, I knew there was a guy in here and I wasn't quite sure where. Now I know and now I got him. Avenger. So, I am at... Actually, I don't know what I'm at right now. We are about... Uh, not even halfway through the game right now. But anyway, so that's my story. Uh, a hilarious story that I have. And uh, it wasn't really embarrassing or anything. It was just funny. And uh, yeah, I'm at 8 kills right now. So I need one more for my, for my chopper gunner. And, uh, and then that's it. And I go to town. Well, not really to town. I kind of like visit the village. Not really going to town. Um, so yeah. Uh, I would like to hear any interesting stories that you guys have had. Anything like that where, you know, you had something embarrassing or not really embarrassing but just funny happen to you. Write it in the comment section below. It would be funny to hear some, get some input. I, uh, that's my claymore, by the way, from when I set earlier at the beginning of the match. I think I do like two or three laps. I am, I don't sit in one spot for the entire map, the entire game. I move around, I do a couple laps, and uh, but I do very well. I get a nice flawless, which I'm sure I'm going to write in the, in the headline or the description. I get a flawless. And... Uh, I don't think it was full. I don't. I'm, uh, I'm not positive, but it, we're actually losing. I think. Yeah, we are losing right now. And that's hysterical. I'm like. Well, actually, I'm only eight and zero right now. I can't get that last kill. Actually, I'm not eight and zero. I'm like nine and nine or ten and zero. But that's because of my chopper. I might have been even 11 and 0 at this point. I'm just trying to get that last kill so I can get my chopper gunner. Oh, this guy almost takes me out. I was, uh, luckily he didn't, I don't know, throw a grenade or stun me or something because I would have been screwed, but I got away there. Um, yes, any, uh, any stories that you guys have? I'm going to speed this up, actually. <laughs> Alright, so I'm mowing down people with this, with this bad mofo. Uh, you know what? I still actually have not used the uh, the gunship. I don't know why. I've just never bought it. Never. I prestige three times. I'm uh, high 40s right now. Actually, I'm uh, probably going to prestige again. But I have not uh, even bought the gunship once. I don't know. Maybe next prestige I'll buy it. Because I've never even played it, used it. I've used uh, almost anything, everything else because of the uh, the care packages. When you start, when you when you uh, uh, first prestige, you have to use a care package. You don't have a choice. So, but usually after I buy my uh, my setups, I usually get rid of the care package because I hate care packages. I don't really feel like you earn. If you get five kills, get a care package, and then somehow you get a chopper gunner, I don't really think you earn it. I don't think it's... I don't know. I actually like playing bare bones. I'm going to maybe throw in some more some bare bones games where you, uh... There's no kill streaks and shit like that. I like that. So it's... You don't have to worry about dying from it. But whatever. I run ninja and ghost most of the time. Ghost prod. So I don't really have to worry about gunships or chopper gun are shooting me down but we are coming up to the end of the video there's uh 20 seconds left in this video here um it goes dim actually right here at the end but anyways so uh I'd like to hear some stories that you guys have or anything um i hope you guys had a good christmas Ooh, don't forget to write down some uh, new year's resolutions that'd be pretty cool to hear what you guys did but uh, this is Lex Coop saying rate, comment, subscribe, do what you do, skadoosh.